Are, are you serious? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're right. We got to keep the energy up. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? What up? What up? What up? Welcome to Talking Pops. What episode? 250. It's the big 250 with your host, Josh. I'm Mike. And uh, we got a special guest. Let's do it. Josh is going to intro him, and it's got to be good. So here we go. I'm going to hit the music like we discussed. And if you mess it up, I'm going to turn the music off, and you're going to try it again. Oh, my God. Just you ready? do it. Yeah. This is some good music. No, it's good. Just go. So we got the intro. <laughs> I Okay. <laughs> You got to do better. All right, it. scene. Okay, you ready? I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna hit it for you know all the credits. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. It's Sully. <laughs> <laughs> Sully, is that okay for you? Or do you want more? I've been laughing since five minutes before this thing started. Uh, Wait, go again. Go again. Okay, I you got ready? It. ready? Yeah. Talk about with Sully. <laughs> So play well, the song, play I'm the gonna, song. I'm going to do it one more time. We got it. So special guest on the 250 episode, we got Sully from Twitch. What's up, Sully? How's it going, What's up, guys? How you doing? Good. How about you? We're good. We're good. How are you? Um, Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, we appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Love you guys. I miss you guys. We haven't, we haven't podcast together in nearly a year. It's been... The last time I, I recall somebody had had several beverages. <sighs> was that both of us? That was... Me, I think mostly. I I think I did as well. Yeah, yeah that think, was a lot of fun. What I remember of it. Maybe we should go back and listen at some. Oh, point. at the hotel room. At the hotel room. Yeah, where yeah. we daisy chained two recorders together and got ten tracks. Yeah, and it took me an equal number of beers. Yeah, I I think it took me five hours to get all the cuss words out of it so that we could post it in our. You said it was feed. bad. It I, was bad. It took you a long time. I think I was even cursing on that one. Yeah, you're normally uh, the the good one. That was a long time ago. Yeah, it was almost a year ago. Yeah, it was <sighs> March something. Yeah, uh, I think That's it was crazy. Uh, Sully, us, and Geek together and their peanut gallery. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We had a we had a small studio audience. Uh, yeah, that was the worst. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, I don't think you remember any of it, honestly. Uh, I I think I do. I think I was a little bit more sober than I wish I was. And that's why I wasn't having much of a fun of a time. I remember oh that God. terrible uh, turkey sandwich at that weird bar. Yeah, that bar was no bueno. I mean, they had beer, so let's easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And fried food. It took your food like two hours to come out. Oh that's God. right. I remember. How like, could I forget? Everybody but me got burgers and fries, and I got like some like fancy a, sandwich. No, it wasn't a fancy sandwich. It was a grilled cheese with turkey. They're like, this guy. Melt. And they're like, yeah, sorry, it's coming out. And I'm the slowest eater. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. So anyway, uh, Sully, we haven't had you on in a long time. Haven't been able to shoot the breeze with you. Um, get to talk to you about some some awesome stuff. It's been, you said, like a year. Yeah. Uh, we always appreciate you spending some time with us to uh, talk all the, the fun nerd stuff. Um, so how have you been? We'll start with that. How's things on your, your side of life? Oh, I've been good. I've been good. I uh, stay in busy. I don't. You guys know I do the uh, the streaming thing, like you mentioned before. I'm on Correct. Twitch these days. Yeah, yeah. and uh, just been constantly working on that, trying to improve. I, I I always joke that in my my previous lives, other jobs where I uh, got laid off or left, and then I had a little time afterwards. It was like I went and got another degree. I did it once in social media. I did it once in podcasting. Oh, now I've yeah. done it in streaming. Right. Right. And uh, so I've learned a lot this year. I've had a chance to to still continue to be in front of people and to talk about nerd stuff. And I mean, we're still talking about collecting Funko. It hasn't slowed down for me other than as far as how many times I'm around the stuff. I'm still buying it. Yeah, it's still increasing in the collection and we're still talking about it a lot. But uh, I'm able to focus on video games and just chatting with people and, uh, you know, have some fun. It's It's been a real blast. And, and actually, I, I get to sleep every once in a while this year as well, which has been nice. That's probably a big change of pace for you. Yeah, that's probably last huge. time we talked to you. Even I think when it was just us talking to him, mm -hmm. we are gone through like your whole daily regime regimen regime yep. regimen regiment regime. Yeah, and you did a, you did your best to try to get to like a normal <laughs> sleep schedule, but it was like four hours, right? Oh, I mean, four or five was a, was a good night. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. only sleep four or five hours a night. Yeah, most people do, yeah, buddy. Man. 
If I don't sleep eight and a half, are you kidding me? I'm useless. I slept nine hours and fifty minutes last <laughs> night, but I'm unemployed. It was that last fifty where it really kicked into oh, overdrive. Though. That's what really counted. Back is wrecked in the morning. You're an idiot. But I'm well rested. So, so you've been on Twitch a lot, doing the video games. Anything specific? Anything you play the most of, or I, you just kind of you know dabble? you get all these people that say they're variety streamers. I like to call myself a not so variety streamer because I play it. like the same games over and Good. over again. A lot of Fall Guys, a lot of Rocket League. I do venture out. Uh, Halo on Friday nights. We have a group that comes together yeah, every Friday. That's Switch sweet. games yeah, on yeah, Tuesdays yeah. with the four dorksmen. Okay. Uh, Keeping it pretty steady. I've tried some different things on Saturdays, but I, I haven't found that other game that's a that's a must. Uno. Right. That Fall Guys has got me, man. I, that happened this year. What a that just has to be dialed in right now. So, that game is so much fun. A lot of a lot of things of 2020 were absolutely terrible. Um, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. some of the 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 simplistic gaming that came out of that year, Among Us, uh, Among Us, Fall mm. Guys, yeah. Um, we had your your <laughs> we had the consoles finally launched mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and even inside of those some pretty cool games like yeah. it was a good ironically a good year for like gaming on a year where you were stuck inside the house who would have did you mention animal crossing oh and animal crossing <laughs> thank you yes yeah. you animal know what crossing. we're we're convinced animal crossing that the nintendo caused covid yes uh because that game launched like and the COVID. friday that Correct. everybody had to go home from their jobs and then for the next three or four months everyone played animal crossing so i'm in retail uh, and we had to wait until that game came out to start shutting stuff down. Oh, it was like, wow. that was big. That was huge. Yeah. Yeah. No, we didn't have to wait, but like, it, no, like, they told you like to your point, Sully, that's what happened. It, that Friday hit. And I was like, you gotta go home. <laughs> you, you gotta stay away. Um, so animal crossing and every Mario game under the sun. Oh my God. So many Mario so games. You 3d all stars, uh, Just super Mario it. world, uh, Mario 35. And, uh, I feel like I'm missing one. The one that's three? That's I said yeah, we, 3D All-Stars. We just got uh, Mario two. 3D and Bowser's Fury. Yeah, and Mario Bowser's Maker Fury. 2? Mario Maker? Maybe not. I don't know. But a good year for gaming. Yeah. So so being on Twitch, that's why I was curious what all you've been playing because there's, there's a lot to keep you busy. Fall yeah. Guys, man. That's what started us <sighs> playing on the PC. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been a gamer for a long time, and there's a lot of games I would play, but you, you, you have to find a balance between what I would enjoy and what will keep the audience engaged as well. And and Fall Guys is just as much fun to watch as it is to play. Yeah. Uh, I play Halo on Friday nights, but I don't think people are as into it as much. It's more like a hangout on Friday nights. That's when we, we go late. We're yeah. not streaming that to like 9 o'clock on the West Coast, so there's not as many people there. But Wow. What, no, no, uh, no Minecraft. No, I'm not a Minecraft guy. Okay. I can't get into that game. My niece, if she were streaming, she'd be all over it. She's 10, but I, I can't do it. Yeah, that's funny. Jo- Josh was going to do a stream when he, he you're playing. <laughs> okay, so do you want me to tell him the yeah, story? Yeah, you explain the whole thing because so I gotta, don't get it. You got to tell us. if so- I don't think people will watch it, but Mike thinks we should try it. So have you played Skyrim? I have never played it. I know what it is. but Okay, all right. So it's one of my favorite all-time games. I am one achievement away on the Xbox from uh, a thousand percenting it. Wow. Um, the achievement is use a certain weapon. Well, the problem is that I'm level 70 something. Uh, it's a weapon you got when you were 12. Uh, and I sold it. I sold it so long ago. Oh. Now, Skyrim keeps everything, but there's also thousands of cities in the game. So I need to find this. It's a bow. Uh, I need to find it and just use it once. And I get the achievement. And I I perfect the game. Um, I, Mike wants me to go through to every city, check the vendors, and leave, and just stream that for I don't know a few weeks until I find it. Here's the thing: he would get so mad that I think it'd be entertaining. Yeah, yeah. There's You'd some people that would swear. really be into that. Oh, you can swear all You'd you want. You have on to that let one. me swear. Here's here's how I oh, envision yeah. it, Tully. He he <laughs> on screen. He has. A, the Skyrim map, right? Right. Uh huh. And he has it in a grid. Yeah. And as you go through, you're marking off grids. Not here, not here, not here. And I want to see how far it takes, how long it takes you to fill in that grid. Oh, because it could literally be anywhere, right? Correct. A grid, a grid is way too organized for him. I, I envision like that Charlie <laughs> gif with all the red strings on the yeah. wall connecting all the areas Pepe in the map. Sylvia. Pepe Sylvia. Pepe <laughs> Sylvia. Pepe Sylvia. Well, there's like there's like six strongholds, uh-huh. and I own a house every. It could be in my house. It could be anywhere. You could have threw it in the ocean. I right? could have, I could have dropped it in a dungeon to make myself lighter to carry something else. 
<laughs> and it'd still be there. <laughs> so you could have one thousand percent at all. Like you would have just nailed it months ago or a year ago oh. if you just when you got that bow. You know, twenty two years ago if you just used it. Correct. God. So that's what frustrating. I what I might do just start a new game, get to like level twelve, get that bow, and because the achievements aren't based on. Oh, you oh, can't yeah. do that. That's Why cheating. not? That's cheating. I'm one that's achievement away. Yeah. Oh, whatever. But then we would all we'd be robbed of this energy of yours as you you go I guess. The universe, pissed off at everything in sight. I <laughs> think it'd be more fun for us to play Uno and stream that. Here's what I think would happen. You would get through all of them and you'd be like, there's one grid left. It has to be here. Yeah. And then when it's not there, you flip a table. I am not above putting an axe through that Xbox. <laughs> I don't care. Possessions. Well, Sounding like John Madden, it would be in the last place he would look. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a, like a good solid day already looking for it. Like a, one day. Yeah, like real time day. Like I'm talking hours where I went to strongholds. I checked everywhere, and everyone's like, "You want some of my goods and services?" Or what? My God, I got wares. wares and you got coins. Yeah. And I check them. Nothing. I'm like, son of a. And I write it down, and I go to the next one. And my my, my uh, life partner is like, you don't, you really don't remember? No, <laughs> that's the whole point. That's the whole problem I'm in. <laughs> I don't know. That being said, I feel like people enjoy watching Sully play games because uh -huh. he's a great guy. He's nice, and they're having fun. And we're I, mean. <laughs> I think someone watching me scour the map of Skyrim <laughs> for hours upon hours while swearing. Uh, would not be fun to watch. I think it'd be a blast. I, I guarantee at least 20 people would come and watch this. <laughs> There's something for everyone out there. I mean, God forbid oh, you actually God. take time to like thumb through Twitch. You'll see some crazy stuff I on there. I, I found true. some girls the other day like doing calisthenics in a bikini in their in their uh, living room what? while I was just flipping through and I'm like, I what? thought there were other channels for this. What Do you are you doing? Why are you getting your phone yeah, out, Josh? Stop. <laughs> There's no way that happened. What's uh, What do you think I would search? If he's he's on Twitch right now. Yeah, I can see yeah. it in the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> you said the hub <laughs> yeah the, there's either a hub or a bait or something i don't know check check this out sully look what i printed today oh nice that's a big one it's too it, oh it's, it's a crown by the way my god before anybody <laughs> thinks it's a fucking crown. audio only so, it's fucking crown. congratulations sir <laughs> it won't fit on, it's not big enough for my head your head's huge it's pathetic <laughs> does it fit on josh not Almost. really that's the weirdest. They have two separate cameras. <laughs> <Bam. laughs> they have two separate cameras that I can see the crown go from this one to the other. This isn't fun for our listeners, but we're trying on a crown. Now, see, it, it almost fits him. It almost. But that's as big as I could possibly get my printer to print in one oh. piece. So You're I'm going to puzzle it together. Huh? I'm going to have to do because I can't even do half because half is still the biggest edge <sighs> to edge. Yeah, you stink. Um, mm. So I'm going to have to do it in three pieces. And how long did that take to print? 28 hours. <laughs> God. <laughs> Live stream that. I am. He has uh, been time lapsing. <laughs> Sully, <laughs> shut up. I'm, uh, I have another one printing right now, and I'm time lapsing it. There you go. Oh, my God. That's that's a long. So do you, can you do other colors than blue, or are you going to sand and paint this? I'm going to sand, sand it and paint that bad boy. Okay. Yeah. What color you going to paint it? Red. Why would I do red? White. Yeah, I'll tape it. America. You it's like someone tape. just taught him about the flag. <laughs> the, fr the French one? Yeah. Yeah, oh that my one. God. So um, we should probably ask, like, what are you excited about for Emerald City Comic Con? I was getting there. What are you excited about Emerald City Comic Con? Uh, virtual Con yeah, 4? Yeah, Virtual Con 5? 5? 4? Sully, what is it? <laughs> Great us. question, Josh. I don't know. <laughs> it's another Virtual Con. I'm still puzzled as to why it's Emerald City Comic Con related since we don't get Emerald City Comic Con until later this year. But I think it's because the stickers are already printed yes. and on the boxes. It's, yeah. it's got to be, right? Because yeah. that color was already predetermined probably three to six months ago. Well, yeah, and because Emerald Green. Right. Mm. Yeah, that makes that makes some sense, I guess. Yeah. I know if I'd have been internal, it's still I'd have been like, what, what, why? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to ask why a lot, and they're like, Sully, shut up. Yeah. That's why I'm not there. <laughs> um, they're like, shut yeah, up, no. go give away this proto, <laughs> you lovable goof. Get in front of the camera and smile, <laughs> redneck. Um, no, no, I'm, I am excited. I like the reveals this year uh, a lot, and I, I love that it puzzled so many people while there was a green Yoda. I think it's hilarious to see the responses of the noobs that don't understand 
it's all green. Well, like not green. every pop is green, but a lot of them are going to be three uh, themed green since right. it's uh, Emerald City Comic Con. I love the uh, the um, Pirates of the Caribbean yeah, skeleton. That's guy. a sweet one. Yeah, we were cool talking one. about that was pretty cool. And whoever decided to do the glam the way they did it, that shows part of a black light on there to show the glow, but the rest is normal. That's a great look. Yeah. Good art art on that one. Very nicely done. Sculpt is beautiful. Colors are great. Yeah, that's a must for me. I'd, I'd be willing to pay aftermarket prices for that. Well, you could just go show up, right? Yeah, I'll just be <laughs> at the convention center. It's right down the road. Uh, the, the no booths uh, present, but somebody's going to be passing those bad boys out, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I tell I, you, I got in the lottery. I'm hoping we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. I I loved the way they did the lottery this time. Oh, me too. The take that bots. Yeah, the hey, if you're not in it already, screw you. The uh, best thing, the, literally the awesome. the best thing. Yeah, because not yeah. to to your point, Sly, not even bots. This is the problem we talked about for SCCC when I messed it up. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Josh messed up SC. Uh, no, New York City. Comic New York City Comic Con. I messed up, but um. You once they sent out that like, hey, you should opt in. Anyone can, yeah, multiple times with different emails. So what they did was was genius, right? Because yeah. we know people that had like their parents sign up, and their yeah. parents didn't get the email because they purged the accounts. Yeah. It seems right. Like. Perfect. Yeah. God, would I have loved to have been in the room and they're purging all those? Just like, can I can I hit the delete button on everyone? I just yeah we just yeah take that million emails. every yeah. time. That would have been awesome. It was that was great. We're we're really we're really happy with that decision to to enter into the lottery. And I I remember reading an article by somebody, one of the PR people at Funko had an interview with uh, Ain't It Cole News or something like that, uh -huh, uh -huh. saying that they had like two million people sign up yeah. for the lotto. Wow, which is lot. yeah. Yeah, I'd say that. But at lot. the same time, I think it said in there that they deleted like a million yeah. fake accounts or something to that effect, which I loved. Yeah. Two million is not a lot. That's only half a percent of the population in the United States. What? <laughs> I mean, I guess you're right. I am right. <laughs> but how many people would normally sign up for about that? I have to make fun of him. And then I started doing the math in my head. Yeah, he, he might be right. He was sitting here smug mugging pretty I, hard. So I'm, I think he did the math real quick in his head. And he's being smug. I'm about half it. an engineer, sir. Don't you forget it. No. So I, I'm half impressed. Uh, I, I love, nice. I love the, the lottery system this, this way. It yeah. just makes the yes. most sense. Uh, the lottery system in general makes sense Yeah. instead of yep. just, uh, I don't know, anything else. Um, and if I get in the lottery, I'm not doing it. Mike's yeah, getting my email. He's going to give me his email because he messed it up real bad. So I need to tell Solly about it. At New York, New York Comic Con, I got the lottery. I got entered in. And they said in the second bullet point, don't refresh. Don't mm. you refresh that browser. And I was like, all right, Funko team, I'm going to listen to you. I enter in and everything's blank on my page. I was like, all right. Mm. But they said not to refresh, so I'm not going to do it. And then 30 seconds go by. I'm like, so like, you get them? And I was like, okay, I think I messed up. <laughs> I hit refresh. They all pop up. I'm like, son of a whore. <laughs> yeah. No, you do the right thing, man. But it's technology. God. I was scared. All I know is that I had to pay $250 for a bloody bag. <laughs> when, I entered, when I got into the lottery. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you may not have gotten bloody bin anyway, so that's true. I was How? a I was able to get that uh, I was able to get that Boba Fett uh, on a restock. Uh, I think Josh might be having a an episode. I felt on him over there. Terrible, and he's not he's not giving me any credit for that. I was mortified and ready to buy a couple bloody bends to make it up to you. You know, it's fine. I felt terrible, <laughs> absolutely terrible. Uh, I'm, not, I was, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I was in one of my stores in the back room uh, cursing pretty loudly, trying to figure it out. Uh, but uh, all I'm whatever. saying is I get him whatever he needs and he couldn't get me this one thing. <laughs> Y'all are my favorite married couple, by the way. Oh, uh, whatever, Sully. <laughs> so, uh, so the Pirates of the Caribbean, is that your, is that yeah. your winner? That's my favorite. Yeah, I think it's just awesome. And I have a feeling it's going to be a tough one to get because I've heard a lot of people say the same thing. But that, yeah. that's just a fire mold, man. Yeah, There's cool. some other great stuff in there, too. I, offhand, I can't think of Kim specifically Pines, what my baby. short list would be. But if I get in, I'll let you know. That's what you're saying. Kim Pines Kim, Kim for you? Kim Pines. I need that Kim Pines, and I got to buy as many sodas as I can. Yeah. I love I love Jackie Chun. And um, 
It's pronounced Chan. Chan. Um, oh, the Motu stuff. I do need all the Motu stuff. What's uh, Kerrigan? That's oh, Dwight. yeah, Dwight, Dwight is Kerrigan. Kerrigan from the Office. Those are probably my two big favorites from the from the con from the announce, announcements. Yep. And I'm pir- pirates and Motu. I got to keep the Motu alive. I'm, yeah. I'm nearly 100 percent complete. I think. Oh wow! <laughs> that's yeah, a that's a lot. Motu, it's its own dedicated IKEA shelving unit now, yeah. like four <laughs> tier high with the nine inch uh, bad boys and all of it. Oh yeah. wow! So he's not having cool. around. Yeah, I still cool. remember pre-ordering that first set. Everybody thought I was crazy. Like, what? What are you doing? What are you? Why are you getting these things? <laughs> I'll tell you why here flashback they're now worth a fortune um i can't tell you how many times in the past years that you've walked like i passed on the first wave of friends you're like cool. oh they're they're main lines they're not going to be worth anything i'll pick them up whenever they're what 100 150 bucks a piece, piece. Now? yeah yeah piece. it's crazy i never man. saw production production numbers uh print runs on those but I, it felt like they didn't print that many of them felt like they did a short run on those first ones yeah Probably. So um, as far as like announcements coming soon, you know, is there anything specific that you're real jazzed for? Well, pop wise, you said you've been, I know you're not immersed in it as much, but you're, we're still talking about it every day. Right. And I think the only thing that probably stops you is, uh, is some of the impulse buys would be my guess. Um, yeah. But uh, what, I, good. I, I say I've been real careful on what I've purchased this year. I uh, I've been trying to back off on buying too much. I've been keeping up with the Motu and a few of the sodas and a, and a few things here and there. I got the I got the fry. What are these? The uh, fry kids the other day that ended up being the wrong price on the Funko Shop and then yeah. getting corrected, which yeah. they did they did fix that in my account. Uh, I really dig that. I'm loving the Wand Division stuff. I'm probably gonna get some of those. I got the uh, like the pop albums, Lincoln Park. I got to get that. The pop albums. Super are hyped sweet. about Goonies from uh, Toy Fair. Oh yeah, yeah okay. I got I got to keep the Goonies alive. You gonna get the pins, the pop pins? I you know what I like the pop pins, but I don't love the pop pins. I I, I think I'm steering clear of those for the most part. I, I really love the box design. I think they look cool, but nah, I don't I don't need more stuff to collect. The soda. Has been like I can't believe how popular the soda has been. I knew it would be good, but I didn't know how good it would be, and I'm really digging it more and more myself. It's got to be because they're all limited, right? Lim- small runs, yeah. true chases where nobody can buy them off the shelf before you have a chance. I love the, the. I mean, it's in the name of the thing. I love the chase. And when when we had it at Toy Fair last year, and I was in the Funko booth talking to these smaller vendors because you know they started with smaller comic book shops and smaller vendors instead of going to the big guys. I'm like, you you got to get on this now. Yeah. Don't pass it up. These things are amazing. The fact that they're numbered and that like you don't know what's in this can and people can't cheat and and take a scale out to figure out if it's a chase or not. Like these are going to be wild. People are going to buy five and ten, not one. Right. And sure enough, that's what they're doing. I love seeing people with a scale in public. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Love cracks me up with the mystery minis and stuff. Yeah. So, I guess that makes a lot of sense with the sodas. I really, I'm not a fan of them, but I guess. Just wait till they make a Dragon Ball Z one. Then I, you'll... No, because I don't like the art of them, but I guess that makes sense. There's a lot else to it on the collector side of things that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't like how they look. That's that's why I don't like them. Um, well, imagine if Pops came in a box that was double boxed. I've talked about this a lot before. Like yeah. they did those Deadpools, Hot yeah, Topic Deadpools. years ago. Uh, if those had all been double boxed and you didn't know if there was a chase inside or not, every time there was a chase on a Pop, they'd sell three times as many. Yep. Yeah. That's really cool. That's a really good way to look at it. I never even yeah. thought. Yeah, they did horror ones and uh, Deadpool, right? Those yeah. were the two they did? Yeah, it was Freddy, um, Michael Myers, and something else for that. Uh, Pinhead. Topic. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I wasn't even thinking of that collector's aspect of it. Well, yeah. when I first got into collecting, I, I remember getting into, like, uh, I got the first Sully, and then I ordered, like, uh, He-Man and Rocky and several other sets around that same time, and I got them all. But that's about when I find out found out about, like, the Sully from SDCC. And I looked on there, and I saw it was 480 pieces. I was like, excuse me? In yeah. the world? <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I'm getting that. 40 bucks, that seems pretty high for this toy, but I'm going to go ahead and get it. $1,000 later, uh, I made out the right choice on that. I should have bought everyone that was on eBay at the time. Wow. Uh, but uh, I knew those numbers, if it took off, would be huge. And now we're looking at the same thing again. What are some of those when there's only 2,000? That means there's 120 chases? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that's nuts. Cool. 
those are low. And, and then I was looking when we were doing the uh, Extra Life campaign thing, uh, Mike Becker had sent me some protos that we auctioned off on eBay. And I got a couple of AP sodas. The APs were selling for more than the protos. Wow. It's nuts. Yeah. I really never thought that it was going to be three, $400 items. I thought these might have a little interest, but they have really taken off. It's amazing. I, I was bidding on that, that. I think you got a Scott Pilgrim one yeah there was one uh-huh. and uh that got that got a little bit too rich for me so how much is too rich for you it went pretty high right like uh four or five hundred bucks four or five hundred yeah how many computers you buy <laughs> he's he's razzing me because i bought three computers two of them have 3090s in them and one of them has a 3060 Oh, so you bought the computer to flip? No, Is that what to, you're saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna mine that crypto, baby. I'm gonna, oh, oh, really? I'm, All I'm, right. I'm heading to the hills. What are you looking up there for? Just I'm interested to see how this goes. Just uh, just it's thinking. gonna be good. the The computer that I have running right now has a 2080, and I make about eight bucks a day on it. Remember, like no ten way. years ago, when you were my customer. Uh-huh. Why don't I just leave it like that? I know you shouldn't have let me get that <laughs> stupid uh, Vita. Vita. Yeah, <laughs> how many times is I just saw? I want you to know our history started with buying and selling Vitas. I bought uh, not for profit, not for profit, just, just because a game would come to it and be like the Vita's got to be good, right? And we'd buy yeah. it. I bought it with Hot Shots, and then uh-huh. I bought it with Plants for Zombies. Mm-hmm. I think I bought three Vitas and sold all of them. <laughs> I think I've oh owned. A, I think I've owned a total of five Vitas. <laughs> I still have my first day one with the uh, OLED screen. Yeah. Did did it have the 4G or the 3G? <laughs> no, I got the Wi-Fi only one. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. But, but if you got it with 3G, you got it a week early. That's <laughs> why I paid the extra $100 for it. Oh, my God. Nope, not this guy. <laughs> I got to get that Vita a week early. What's 3G? Well, you keep saying this 3G thing. What's that? <laughs> so you could play with all the other people who had 3G for $10 a month. <laughs> Oh my God! What a rich tapestry our history is. Um, oh God! So something we've been talking about a lot, um, and I'd love to get your opinion on it. You know, COVID uh, sucks. Sucks. You know, yeah, we've been dealing with it. I know you dealt with it pretty crazily. Uh, um, you know, I I know you've been dealing with a lot of stuff. America's going through in like every different way. You got you got some family affected by a lot of things. You know, we wish the best for you. But honestly, um. With COVID, you know, we, we've seen a lot of gatherings be shut down. Wonder and, cons canceled. Everything's canceled. Yeah. When do you think, what is your, mm. like, actual opinion on the next convention we'll see happen? Ooh, I, I think it'll probably be end of summer or past summer. As far as big conventions, I mean, there I think there'll be some smaller ones that'll pop up around the country just to test the waters in, like, July, August. I, I don't think we'll see San Diego. You don't no. think San Diego, right? No, no. I think the first big con we might get is New York this year. And even then, it's going to look very different. So I think, I yeah, and, and agreed. So difference, right? And it's all going to be about location. I think New York might be time frame makes sense, but New York was one of the hot spots. They yeah. might not want to do something like that. We were thinking, they, they said Emerald City was postponed to December, mm-hmm. but with yep. this virtual con, it's hard to say what they still want to do. Um, I think... Honestly, you could even see Emerald City canceled again, and the next true con that we'll be able to attend is Emerald City 2022. Well, here's the thing on Emerald City Comic Con. I think it's weird that they postponed it to December. I see what they're doing. They're like, okay, the the first half of the year is going to be total chaos. Let's wait till after it all. But what are they going to do? Have one in December and then turn around and go back to their normal schedule the next year? Agreed. And that's, I think that's very strange. December in Seattle is not a great convention time right now. I mean, it's not as bad as everybody thinks. Up here, it's pretty temperate until January, February. You're looking at temperatures that might get down into the 40s and 50s. You're, well, typically, weather, it, it'll change for this con, but typically you're not dealing with snow and ice. Yeah. You know, you get a, you get a little drizzle rain, that's it. But you, this this time in December, probably going to be an early freeze, a heavy snow. Yeah. yeah. But Just I, because. But I think to your point, wh- why do it, right? Wh- why do December? Why change up the whole kind well, of, of schedule? where they could have just been like, hey, let's try December to keep things alive and even keep things um, it's, fluid. It's probably an insurance thing. And could be that, too. I was going to say, it's a money thing for yeah. sure. Uh, it could be a lot of those things. But I, I yeah. think what's going to actually happen is Emerald City Comic Con 2022. I think that's going to be our next it's possible. convention. 
It's possible. I mean, we we have benefited from the vaccines are going out ahead of the schedule, above uh, but everyone the numbers wants them, that they man. were hoping. They're, but everyone not everybody's going to take it. Yeah, yeah. Check. A quarter of the population says no. I'm not going to do it because uh, insert conspiracy theory Bill here. Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and then so that leaves a lot of people that could still be affected. And like you said, New York was a hot spot. It could be again. We've got these other um, uh, mutations of right. covid which is right. something to be real concerned about will the the, the uh, vaccine combat it they don't know they're hoping i check every morning to get on the list i just want both of you to know that my mom is in public health and is in charge of thousands of lives every day and she does not want to get it until they make her get it wow um, well the only reason i'm not worried about it is because i had it so i'm i'm bulletproof for like 90 days to six months that's yeah. right that's and they right. said if so you had it, I you can wait need, it out a while. They said if you had it, you only need one shot. You don't. Need, you don't need the double dose. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I, I'm not planning on getting it anytime soon, but it's not because of a conspiracy theory or anything. I think I still would have been reluctant and waited a few extra months uh, over most people just to see if anybody turned into lizards or whatever. Uh, <laughs> my mom didn't want it because of Bill Gates. L- literally, because of Bill Gates, she didn't she, want it. What? All right, explain to us. She, yeah, she she thinks that Bill Gates wants to put chips in people. All right, she Probably has a does. cell phone, right? Yeah, that's yeah. What I exactly oh. what I told her. I'm like, you're uh-huh. paying Verizon to do what you think Bill Gates <laughs> wants to do to you. <laughs> My mom talked about that a little bit. She's like, well, you don't know what's to Sully's point. You don't know how you're going to react. Right. I think that is the only fair argument. I don't know how I'm going to react because even the flu shot can knock you out for a couple days. Uh-huh. It's yep. what it's supposed to do. But I get it. If you're like, I don't know, man, let me let me give it a month. Can ever other people do it first? Might be selfish, but I I can totally get that. My mom was like, Yeah, you don't know what's gonna, you don't know what it can do to you. I was like, Oh, that actually makes sense, mom. I guess yeah. that makes sense. She's like, Also, who knows what's in it? They might be tracking you. I was like, Mom, <laughs> you have a phone. Uh-huh. Are you, why you had me? I was on your side. And then you said something like that. You have a cell phone. They 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 know when you're naked all the time. Right. She's like, they don't do that. Oh, they literally do. They know when you're sitting on the toilet, drinking coffee, <laughs> smoking cigarettes, and putting on your shoes in the morning. That's what my mom does. Um, you put on your shoes while you're on the toilet? That's, no, his mom does. My mom does. I must have missed that episode. Y'all have talked about this before, clearly. Oh, uh, we did. It was after our Halloween party when my mom... Uh, she's just, I don't know, clearly you see where I get it from. Um, I was going to say, normally you're so even keeled. I'm sure you didn't get that from your mother. <laughs> so, uh, you brought- she was so mad that we were playing. There were enough of us to play among us in a room. Oh yeah. And she was like, they're all looking at their phones. Like couldn't fathom that we were all playing a game together. She's like an hilarious. extra boomer. You know, it's crazy. And extra she's, boomer. And she's just, she's so young compared to moms. She's 10 years younger than my mom. Yeah. Yeah. She's an idiot. Um, <laughs> she's boomer plus. Everything yeah. has to end in a plus now. Thanks, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Disney plus. <laughs> <laughs> um, You brought it up. I, I didn't, but I, I would love to ask about it if you wouldn't right. mind sharing or maybe just give us a, a tinksy little glimpse in that you said you, you had COVID, right? Yeah. Oh boy, buddy. How was that? I honestly, I was, I was blessed. I was, I was very lucky that, that it didn't hit me as bad as it could have. But like I went down to Texas for Christmas, still was very careful. I wore my mask. I didn't stop at a lot of places cause I was going to visit family. Like on yeah. the way down, I didn't want to yeah. stop at a, and, and give visit it to somebody in California and then, you know, carry it to Texas. Yeah. I got a 95 year old grandmother I planned on seeing and I sure didn't want to give it to her. Right. So go down there, I hang out with family, wearing a mask, went to church with my mom. I'm fine. Luckily, I saw all the family before it hit. And then and then I think it was New Year's, a couple days after Christmas, my mother came down with it. And I was staying with her, just me and her. Luckily, oh, and, and, and was gone before this hit because uh, I drove down. And it hit her. Uh, and then I'm like, well, I better stay in the other room. I was, I was there and streaming, and I would stay in the other room. And then two days later, it hit me too. Even though I was careful and tried, it got me. And I was, I felt like... Um, I never got to the point where I felt like somebody was sitting on my chest, but even walking up a flight of stairs, I was winded and I'm not in bad shape. You know, I try to take care of myself. I can usually run a few miles Uh, going up a flight of stairs, kick my butt. Uh, I was super tired. I slept like 18 hours a day. Oh, wow. Every night for five days, I laid down and that's when it would kick in. I'd get 103 degree temperature that would last for like an hour until I got enough medicine in me to kill it. And then I'd wake up in the middle of the night in just a pool of sweat. 
It was gross. And had so, to, had to, had to uh, wash the sheets every morning. Oh, my God. Um, so was this like this is like a week? Was this a few days? How long did it last? It was it was five days. Pretty okay. rough. Yeah, I went to I went to the doctor or I did an online thing with the doctor, an online visit. And he gave me a prescription, so I went in. But that's only, I mean, there's not much they can do. They gave me an inhaler to help with the lungs. Yeah. Uh, there was no medicine to combat it at that point. I had it. I mean, dishes are done, man, at that point. So just had to, to plow through it. Luckily, again, no no condition or uh, no uh, complications. I stayed away from other people. So as far as I know, yeah. I didn't pass it to anybody else. Yeah. And I got better just in time to get back in the car to drive across the country 2,300 miles to come home. Oh, wow. <laughs> You should have been live streaming the whole time. <laughs> yeah. God, well, I know, right? I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad the family's okay. You know, I was curious as, um, for a couple reasons. Uh, if there's a few of our listeners that don't believe in it, I'd love them to hear it. Uh, I work retail again, uh, and I've had multiple employees have got it, and I see highs and lows um, yep. all over the place. And that's what's really scary about it because yeah. it's weird. So my na- even my neighbors got it. My There's, there's a couple. That's my neighbors. The 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 wife lost her smell for about a month. Yeah, and, I didn't have that. And nothing else. That's literally all it was. But she had it. She tested positive. The husband was violently ill for like three days. And to sound is kind of like what you, you you said, Sully, like 104 degree temperatures, sweating, shivering, uh, even vomiting. Um, and then it was gone. So, and then I've had employees that are like, oh, my nose is snuff stuffy. And then they have it. Um, and then they have to quarantine for 14 days and that's kind of all there is. Mm-hmm. But then there's a lot of other ones where it was like, I can't breathe at all. They had to give me two inhalers, like all this crazy yeah. stuff. So it's really weird. That's the strangest thing about, about the virus in general is um, one, for those that don't know in Israel uh, and two, it's coming in all kinds of different waves. And that's the scariest part. Um, but I'm, again, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Me too. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, I, uh, definitely. it was a little scary, but I mean, once I got a few days in, I was like, well, as long as I don't get worse than this, I can handle it. I feel like if I got it and I got it bad, we, my, I never hear the end of it. <laughs> no, my mind, my mind would be worse on me because I'd be like, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Like, I feel like I would get in my own head. Um, you'd run out of socks because I'm, you keep blowing your nose with them. Right. Right. Hilarious. Um, uh, I think, <laughs> I think, uh, it'd be bad too. Cause I'm, I'm not in good shape. Um, and you are real hypochondriac. I'm, I'm a real hypochondriac. You lifted your shirt at gecko today. Go, what do you think this is? I asked you what it was in the middle of a, of a gas station. So what? <laughs> so what? They're not going to get you anything. I'm very hygienic. Half shirt, no shoes. I am I am a hefty boy, but I am very hygienic, and I am a hypochondriac. And I always clean everything a little bit much because bigger guys have more surface area. Yeah, we got And they got to clean more. Area. Yeah. Um. So I was asking you what it was, and you were supposed to be a gentleman, and you weren't. <laughs> also, I mean, you hope that maybe a dermatologist is in the area just walking around at yeah, a public you place. You never know. He was so upset. He's like a stretch mark. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well, you don't want it. I'll tell you that. I yeah. mean, just, just for the sheer gamble of how bad it could be for sure. I mean, I won't I won't name names, but I, I somebody reached out to me on Twitter while I had it and said, man, I hope you get to feeling better. My wife and I had it. And I was like, oh, that's a bummer. He goes, yeah, she died in December. It's like, oh my God. Jesus. Like, uh, and I was complaining. I have nothing to complain about. Like, oh that poor guy God. lost his wife in the middle of all this. No, no pre existing medical conditions at all. He came out of it fine. She died. Isn't that nuts? It's crazy. What the hell, yeah, man? I had just met her like two months before that. First time and then gone. Whew. Insane. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, then. Right, You're that like, puts some weight to it, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit, huh? Were you like all of a sudden you... uh, a little a little temperature and uh, loss of smell? Not so bad, <laughs> right? Eat a burnt orange, you're good to go. Eat a burnt orange? Yeah, they say you eat a burnt orange and it brings your taste buds. A back. man's Ooh, wife died. Hey, and why? This, this isn't this isn't the time to make Do jokes. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Well, yeah, I, and and the thing that's um really crazy, and and we should we should probably apologize to Sully because I feel like we we had bad juju. I thought it's pretty hard to get because we, and we, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm making fun of Sully or anybody who's nope, got it. I did too. Uh, we were, we, 
we we've gone into public places together. We've gone I'm, everywhere together, and we do what we're supposed to do. Right. We put our mask on. Uh, we watch other people not wear it. And stay away from them. Mm-hmm. We're like, you're an idiot. We do everything we're supposed to do. I don't touch door handles. I wash my hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I I was sanitized. I'm very hygienic. And I was like, this is pretty okay. You know, if you just listen, it's not too bad. Um, I have fl- in the past year, I've flown six different places and I haven't got it. Damn. I haven't gotten it. I got two little girls in school. Um, I um, my wife takes them to school all the time. I I work in retail. I it's just I haven't got it either. Um, so I, I was really feeling good, but stories like that, you know, really hit close to home. And it's yeah. like that's what even makes it scarier to me. Yeah, it's like, dude, you better take this seriously. No one does. Well, but. I was the same way. I was very careful. I wear my mask every time I went in anywhere. I looked down my nose at people that would have them pulled down or wearing sure. super thin masks sure, instead, yeah. weren't washing their hands. I was very careful. O- only thing I can think is that we went to church a couple of times while I was down there, and that may have been where we got it. Probably. But even right? then, we were spaced away from everybody, and we were careful, and it still happened. Huh. Crazy, crazy. To sw- well, to switch gears, can I – can? Can Let's switch gears, me, man. Do you like this, Sully? <laughs> hey, hey, Sully, how's it going? Does it sound like I'm in a microphone? Is it it sounds like you stepped into the other room. Yeah, it, it's not working. It's not working? No. No. It, he is, for folks at home, he's holding an actual receiver. Oh, our listeners know. Handset. This is stupid. No, people like this. It, it just broke. It's I, broken. I was talking to you the broke wrong it. end. I was with, oh, you, <laughs> wait, I was talking you're not supposed to end. talk into the ear end. What the hell? I know. It's cool, though, right? It's, it's. It's retro. Hey, this is Jimmy J- or uh, Papa John's. What do you What do you want, Sully? <laughs> <laughs> Your sound's better. Yeah, it's better when Sully does it. This and was then- cool. This was a cool thirty five dollar purchase, right? Dude, can I just have twenty bucks a week? Yeah, I say next bucks. time, give me thirty. I'll kick you in the nuts for free. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes this. <laughs> I was talking to the wrong end. That's all. It's it. Here's the thing. It's I don't know if it's dumb because you have not used it practically yet. We you this do is it, like the fifth time I've used it. But you it. do it while we're live. You're like, hey, I have a mic right here, but let me try this. It doesn't make any sense. No, dude, mount it where that mic is next time and do the there whole you thing go. through Ooh. it. That would there be that'd be good comic there relief go. right yeah, there. Yeah, that would be good. You're an idiot. Make sure, yeah, make sure you turn it sideways so everybody can see. Like, what is he do? Why is he using a phone receiver? Right. Get you one of those curly Q cords like they had in the 80s that you stretched to the next room. I'll have to can see. Can you change if they the may- cord on it? It's it's an XLR or a uh, TTR. Oh, right. I see. Oh, well, they have curly XLR three point five. Come mean. on, do they spend this the is, other ten dollars? You think oh. this is a three point five? Oh, is that a fourth jack? That's like a guitar jack. Yeah. Don't put. <laughs> <laughs> Josh trying to plug in. <laughs> you can't you gotta have go, stuff you gotta go to the here. other end, Josh. <laughs> I put everything. I need to taste it. I just it's a comfort thing. I can't have Ooh. anything cool in his arm reach because he puts it in his mouth. Like a six month old? Yeah. Like I had a <laughs> I had a replica plumbus on my shelf. I bit oh God. it. And he took it off the <laughs> shelf and bit it. Literally like the last thing on the planet anyone should think, let me put this in my it's mouth. Exactly. It was so soft. It yeah, was so soft. Mean that's where it goes. I have anxiety. <laughs> let me put things in my mouth. It's all I have. <laughs> Sully, how you liking TikTok? Uh, I need to spend more time on it. I was really getting the hang of it and then just kind of got out of it. Mm-hmm. You got to be on there every day. I, I want to do more with it. I had, I had some ideas and, uh, and I learned a lot. I want to get back to it, but Here, here's the uh, real popular pop thing on TikTok is uh, pretending to cut them open and finding brains inside of them. <laughs> That's what people Stupid. do. With pop figures. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, hey, did you know there's a dragon ball inside the dragon ball Z pops? And they, they show him fake cutting it open and then it like transitions and he opens it up and there's a dragon ball in is it. it because they're trying to get other people to destroy their pops i kind of think so yeah that's kind of funny then because if people do it whatever <laughs> i'm on tiktok hours a day uh and i love it you're so in much. the bathroom that much no dude i watch it all the time i lo- i my, <laughs> my for you page is like prime time now because i got dogs People getting hurt, uh-huh. stupid funny stuff, uh-huh, twerking. and and little little waste big bank. Yeah. It's like perfect. It's like four videos thought, four videos thought. That's all I want. It's perfect. You nailed the TikTok bingo. Well I done, nailed sir. it, dude. It's perfect. The algorithm. I beat it. We're good. Don't uh, change it on you next week. Don't worry. <laughs> the dogs. It's oh my god. All the dog videos are the best. 
I have to oh, yeah. quit watching them because it only shows me sad dog videos now. Oh, that's a bummer. I know. You hit like on the wrong things, bud. I think I did. <laughs> How did they know? Hey, awesome, actually, man. Josh has been getting your fun. See, he understands the algorithm. He's selling you out. Yeah, man. Yeah, son of Touch a gun. You. you sent me one. <laughs> I sent you one of a dog blowing a whistle. That was pretty fun. That was pretty funny. What? A I dog s- can blow a whistle? Yeah. It was, they, 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 they put they, the whistle in the mouth and they hold the nostril. <laughs> yeah, they plug their so, nostrils. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I sent you one of the little French bulldogs throwing up after running around. Yeah, that was funny too. So yeah, TikTok's been pretty fun. I didn't know you were making content on it. What have you been posting? What were you posting before when you were on it? Uh, I was kind of, I was just looking around to see what everybody else was doing first. I've got all these pops. I've, I've been collecting since 2011, all this stuff. And I do on my Twitch streams on Wednesday, I do a thing called what's it worth Wednesday, where I go back to older things and I got the spinny wheel. I get them out and put them on there. And I'm like, okay, that's great. A hundred people watch when I'm on Twitch. How can I get in front of a bigger audience? So I was like, well, let me do the same stuff on, TikTok. on TikTok. Got it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm too much of a, like, I've got to have the lighting just right. And I've got to set it up just right. And I take too much time. And then, so then I talk myself out of making content. It's like, oh, <laughs> instead of being a two minute video, it's going to take me an hour to get it all prepped and done. And, and like, okay, never mind. I just won't do it. Mine are mostly me having good food. And then the dogs staring at me. Yours and, are dumb. And me playing the what if it was for puppy song. I need to, uh, I need to do a little bit more because mine are pretty funny. Um, I, I just put funny music over like, dogs or my my kids playing yeah it, i got his kids hoverboards oh they, wow they love them mm-hmm. they love them so much uh and we we messed around and that's what my favorite part is putting music over regular videos it's it's a great it's a really cool platform i'm surprised at how busy it's gotten I, I I didn't think it would become this big, and it certainly has. But I but I talked about this two two three years ago. Video content's where it's at. Yeah, People right. want to watch and hear, and then and then the fact that you can put music over it, yeah, that that does help a lot. We miss Vine, pretty yeah. That's that's what we. But TikTok has done a lot yeah. to try to take that place in the last six months. Yeah, COVID, oh. uh, COVID again. You know, we talked about Twitch. We talked about video games. You know, COVID's really brought a lot of this video streaming services, all that good stuff to light and help things. And honestly, six months ago, we hated it. I thought yep. it was so dumb. We were like, this is ago. dumb, uh, but it's changed so much so quickly. And it's, it's simple. It's easy. And it, it does help a little bit. I still miss mine, but it helps a lot more than it did before. Yeah. It, it's this past year has been about trying to find balance for me. Like there's a million things I want to do and want to learn and want to be, uh, want to participate in, but I only have so many hours in a day and, and I get distracted real easy. Yeah. So I'll be in here. I'll stream for, I, I do. I have been really diligent about my streaming schedule. If I say I'm going to be on from four to eight, I'm on from four to eight people. They're already sitting there waiting when I get ready to stream, but then I get out of it and it's like, Oh, I'm gonna have a meal and watch a uh, one episode of a TV show. Three episodes later, I'm mad at myself. And then I'm like, okay, I got to go do something. And then I come in here and research for like three hours on how to make more stuff for my Twitch stream and realize, oh, I haven't put on TikTok at all today. And then a yeah, week goes by. I got gotcha. you. I got you. You know, there's just too many things that I really want to be in. But but Twitch has been growing for me and doing well. And I, let's be honest, I'm making some money off of it. Like there's money coming in. I need to focus on that yeah. if I want to pay my bills because I'd like to continue to do this full time. But uh, if I don't, you know, I don't double or triple down. There's going to become a point where I have to go to work for somebody else. And that's not really what I want to do now. Yeah. Working for yourself is. That's what I've always it. wanted to do. Working for the weekend. We I don't mean, have to I, work I don't mind working seven days a week, 12 hours a day. If it's for me and I'm having a healthy living, Yeah, but I, I don't, I'm not going to do it for free. You know, yeah. I mean, I, at Funko, I worked my tail off. Luckily the, the perks and the pay were good. But that's over. So on to the next stage. And I've always wanted to work for myself. So if I can make this work, that would be the dream right there. So um, on that note, you know, do you see any um, kind of future with like still partnering with them? I know you've done some stuff for them, helping out with some streams and and talking up some some different things for Funko. Do you oh, see? Oh, I'd be happy to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, I, it's on a case by case basis and it's in their court. If sure. they want to reach out, they'll work, yeah. reach out, but uh, I'd be happy to, I have, I have no ill will towards Funko. Uh, I've talked about this many times and I'm not just saying it to say it. I mean, they had to sure. make some decisions. Yeah. Could they have made different ones? Sure. But no one knew what was going to happen or how long it was going to last or how serious it was going to get. And they have stockholders to, uh, uh, appeal to, to answer to, mm-hmm. and they did what they had to do. And who knows? Maybe in the future they come back and say, look, things are going stronger and never when we want you back on the team. And I'd have some decisions to make. I think that is a very high possibility, right? Yeah. 
I don't know. We'll uh, see. I we know, always kind of thought you were like the face. Yeah. Like So not not to get you optimistic or 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 an ego boost, right? I would say though, when it came to Funko, I thought Sully. Uh, always, right? You, you're the one that even really got us started and even going to the conventions um, because that's all we really wanted to do. And like I said, I asked you if we could uh, kind of talk about it. There's been sure. some some social media aspects of Funko of 2020 that have been questionable. Not ideal? Questionable. That's questionable, I will say. So I feel like the the change might have been necessary for finance and we all know what what covid did to every business mm -hmm. but i feel like they they have to understand what 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 that change really did to a big part of their their marketing well i i love funko and i've been collecting for a long time but money makes the world go around you've become a public company you do have to look at that bottom line. And I was right. actually just talking about in my stream today. This whole world is run by analytics now. So Correct. I'm sure that they are looking at what they're doing with their social. And they looked at how much money they saved by diminishing the team. And they looked and saw that they were still selling plenty of pops online yeah. and doing just fine. And may have made the decision that, hey, we don't really need that to keep moving forward. I don't think, again, not talking bad about them, but I don't think that most companies will take the time to look at the intangibles and that is things like, uh, are, are your fans truly loyal? Do they love what you're doing? Are they going to be behind you no matter what? You can't see that on paper for years. That's very points. true. That's yeah. That's a very good point to bring up, too, because, again, not to speak ill of anyone, but fanatics don't pay paychecks all the time. Right. Uh, Right, because you're you're a hundred and ten percent right. You would do that fun cast. You would do everything social media. Thousands of viewers. How much money is that? Um, it's a, right? it's a return on what what is it a, a return on influence instead of return on investment. Correct. Which is Correct. yeah. Which unfortunately is, doesn't matter to anyone except for the people producing the content. Correct. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Correct. So I you're 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 a hundred percent right. It's just it's it's curious, right? It's definitely curious to see the social media aspect of Funko. In the last six months. In a, in a post Sully Funko. In a post Sully Funko. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a perfect term for it. Well, uh, remember, you still got Hillary still there. Now Ashley's back. Yeah. Uh, Kyle's been there the whole time working on video content. They weren't allowed to go into the office to do which, stuff. Which I'm yeah, sure right, oh, made a big difference on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the visuals are gone now. There's no more unboxing videos in the traditional manner. There's no tours through the store. There's no random lives. There's no going to the cons. Now, maybe when all that stuff opens back up, they go, oh, guess what? We need that that tool in our tool bag, and we know a tool is named Sully. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get him back on board, and, and maybe they'll make that call. And you yeah. know what? I Again, I won't hold anything against them. Sure. I, I loved my time there, not only from – being a part of a company that I love to collect the stuff and, and be involved in, but the people, man, I miss, I miss the people. And I'm sure and that's I, the biggest I thing. I was overwhelmed you. by the response from everyone saying they miss me too. And that man, that meant the world to me. I know everything I did there, I did for a reason and I did a good job on and, and I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And then this comes along and while it's changed my life, who knows, maybe what I've been doing on Twitch is going to be the next yeah thing oh, for and sure. it all happened for a reason i'm a full believer in that i think things happen for a reason and it, it helps me sleep at night so yeah no i think that's real big and, and, and it's very you're right no one really looks at the analytical side of things ever um because it's nothing that's nothing is pretty to look at um right. so i i think you're right in a lot of aspects but um you know the reason that i asked at the very beginning of the show was you know when do you see a con happening again might be the next time I see a Sully happening again. Uh, oh, I tell you what, I'm ready for a con, period. Yeah. Regardless if I'm working for somebody or not. If yeah. they say New York Comic Con is on, I will do whatever I got to do. If I got to drive to New York. We're wearing hazmat. Sleep in my car. <laughs> they, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the illness <laughs> thing's different. But I mean, if it's open and it's it's all games on and we're all can be safe, that'd I'm going to be there. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, they never I'll let do whatever us in I can. There. I miss that. They've never let us in. They don't let us in there. We are not New York City Comic Con worthy. They're like, you're so close. You know, yeah. don't even bother. They're like, you know what? <laughs> we know San Diego Comic Con, WonderCon, and Emerald City Comic Con all give you press passes, but you know, you can't drive there in four hours. They're like, they're like, they're they're literally farther, so we know that you'll try to go there. And honestly, they all have the same stuff we have, so you don't have to come out of here. <laughs>
<laughs> really? So Reed Pop gives you Emerald City, but won't give you New York. Yeah. Correct. We have never gotten New York. I have tried That's every random. year since the show's been on. Emerald City every year since we've had the podcast. Yep. Maybe one year we didn't. No, every, or, every, every year we've tried, every, we've got it. Every time we've tried, we've gotten Emerald City. We got San Diego th uh, twice. Every time we've tried. Yeah, every yeah. time we tried. Uh, New York's like, nah, dude. Hard, nah. hard swipe right. We've tried New York. Or swipe for, left. You would know. It's right. Yeah, you would know. No, it's left. You're it's always crazy. you're always trying to get them. So what yeah, do you, you want to get them to the right, which is the good side. <laughs> um, Tinder's the worst, especially here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we they New York just won't let us come to there. We can go to Toy Fair. We have gone Toy Fair twice. As We've well. gone to Toy Fair twice, uh, but That's they really interesting. Not let us in to New York City Comic Con. I don't know what we did to them. We did say we hate New York <laughs> uh, multiple times. Multiple times. That I don't know. That might play into it. And That's then silly. We made fun of Italians. Yeah. So that okay. might have done it too. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We say, so the mafia's got it out for you. Is what yeah, I'm hearing. Sure. Yeah. We say yeah. subways are stupid. Yeah, you meant the you meant the sandwich place because of Jared. That's what you meant. Oh, yeah, both. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah the latter. Yeah, I'm telling you from day one, I knew Jared was a pedophile. <laughs> I, I, as soon as I saw him, something's wrong with that guy. I'm not, and I'm done with Subway. I haven't. I don't think I've had Subway since Jared was with him. So he saw. He's like, there's no reason his pants <laughs> need to still be with him that big. Right. Yeah. What is he what leaving is he? the room for? Is this a Gallagher bit? <laughs> Why is he still carrying it on? Just just leave the pants, bud. They don't fit in your pocket. It's awkward now. <laughs> we have a gross subway story um wait sandwich place or new sa york sam sandwich place good answer good answer uh, <laughs> we, I'll, I'll take this into account with your uh, your next application go ahead the the, the, <laughs> the, fir the first time we went to hq we had gotten off a six hour or eight hour plane why ride. is this we you keep saying no we. it was we i was just um, near you while it happened we went to the subway by hq yeah two blocks down the, yeah even even just a block down, you know the subway. Uh, yeah, 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 I do, I do. Yes. Um, we went in there. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. So I get the key. Uh, oh, break, already bad call. Break the toilet, and then come out and eat a sandwich. You you literally broke the I, bathroom. I broke the like, toilet. Like you put stuff in it that was bad, or like broke the porcelain. No. Um, uh, <laughs> All of the above? I didn't I didn't physically break it, but it didn't work after. Gotcha. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then normally the I'd supply like, was too much for the demand. Right. I got you. Okay. And it was after I ordered and had the sandwich sitting on the table. Right. And I was like, well, normally I'd want to be like, let's get out of here. But yeah, you were so hungry after I was seven so hours. Hungry after seven hours. At least it you didn't take the sandwich in there with you. <sighs> that would have been rough. Uh I wouldn't I be, be able to I talk be your to friend you. after yeah, that. No, yeah, that would have been rough. <laughs> There's lines. There's lines. <laughs> we have a lot of dumb bathroom stuff. I know this just happened and we talked about it, but I don't know if Sully heard about oh, it. Oh, wait, IKEA? <laughs> when we went to All IKEA right. the other day. Can I tell it? Yeah, go for oh, it. Oh, so, man. We went to IKEA. I got to tell uh, Sully. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorry for the listeners who already know the story. Uh, it just never works. I do it a lot. First off, I need you to know I do it a lot. So we went to IKEA. We, we drive the hour to get there, mm -hmm. and we use the potty before we go on our marriage shopping spree. Uh -huh. uh, so we go in there. Mike walks in first. I walk in behind him. I was like, ow! <laughs> Since I yelled it in the bathroom, it echoed very loudly, as bathrooms do. Some dude was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine the panic that went through that guy's mind. Oh, my God. So as soon as he says it, I see Mike's penis because I'm laughing, laughing so hard. I'm on his shoulder. I'm laughing. I'm I couldn't keep it together. Uh, that poor guy. <laughs> I have never peed so fast in my life to get as far away from that bathroom as I possibly could. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> I, I have a story on the same basis Let's here. I was at Comic Palooza a few years ago. That's in Houston. And uh, we were playing in a, a Rocket League tournament, and I had to go. So I go find this bathroom. This bathroom's huge. There's like 30 stalls down one side, That's right? So dream. I pick the dead center because those doors are all pretty much open. Yeah. I sit down, and then I hear a guy talking from it feels like he's on the far one side of the room and he's just talking about the rockets openly and i'm like is this guy talking to himself there's a lot of crazy people down there i get it whatever sure. then from the opposite side so we're talking 30 stalls apart a guy starts talking back to him and i'm in the middle 
and they're having a whole conversation on the Rockets and how the roster's looking now, and are they going to go to the games? So I don't know if these two guys randomly went into the bathroom and decided to have a conversation from 50 feet away across all these stalls, or if one started talking and the other one's like, hey, hey, let's be buddies. Can I talk to you? I was, I had to get out of there. I didn't even, I didn't even finish. I just, I pinched it off mid and got out. That's hilarious. Did you say anything? No, I wanted to. I wanted to just jump in the conversation and then <laughs> start talking about somebody else instead of the Rockets. How I was a big Lakers fan would have been great, but I didn't. Oh my god, I wasn't bold enough. <laughs> if stuff's coming out of me, I'm not talking. So right, that's we, a good policy. We talked about. We talked about what it's really. It's really awkward when you're in what like the stall. So like, there's that gecko right down the road. Uh-huh. There's one stall in there, right? That's that's. It's it's one, one stall two urinals. urinals. So I've been in okay. there before, and some dude sees it shut and pulls on the door. <laughs> I'm like, bring it, man, bring it. <laughs> See what my life's about. But like, what do say. you say? So if someone pulls on the urinal, or sorry, on the stall door, what do you say? I don't say anything. Um, I want to go moron. Yeah, I but go, I don't. Yeah, I don't say anything. You don't say a word. No. So if someone sees it's locked, they try to open it. Uh huh. You don't say anything. No. If they try it again, I go. Come on, man. <laughs> That's not what you say? Yeah, I go, come on. I say, someone's in here. That's what I usually Any, say. Anyone with an IQ above a tater tot knows that when you <laughs> walk in the room, you just glance down under the stalls, and you know everything you need to know from 10 feet away. You don't I, have to go all the way to the door. I get on the floor. Yeah, I search underneath. My you favorite. don't even need to do that. You don't got to get it down on all fours. You just glance from You're the right. doorway, and you, you know if someone's in there You just not. need to see some feet. My favorite thing is I have priority pass so we get to go to, to the bathroom no that kind of it's uh <laughs> it's like an airport lounge <laughs> all right yeah yeah gotcha and when we go the bathroom doors have vacant non-vacant brilliant on them right yeah that's the way it should be yeah Period. and should be floor to ceiling when i was in Aust- nice. when i was in australia and new zealand last year two years ago now yeah 2019 is when i went all theirs were floor to ceiling. Their That's, stalls. See, they understand private time. That's uh, I like that. And not in the, here. No. And in you the ever hotel. been to one of those rest stop bathrooms that has like the short doors? Yeah. 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 The, and well, like why? And like I don't know how they build locks enough for these gaps. <laughs> like I'm talking, yo, I I went to school with you, eye to eye lock gap <laughs> between the doors. Yeah. It's nuts. I don't know. There is a at San Diego Comic Con that hotel that's attached to the convention center. The Marriott, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. the Marriott. They have. Uh, I I I had pre-ordered merch from there, so I had to wait four hours to get it. Oof! You know, like I got a a, a cup and a hoodie or something like that. Yeah, worth it. And uh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, the yeah, it was sarcasm. It's over Sorry. there. And uh, their bath, their bathroom in there, their public one is. A wall with full doors, but the in between the toilets is the regular divider. <laughs> so that's they've weird. they've got a wall that they built with yeah. with walls to the floor, and then in between each toilet is a regular stall divider with the big gap. You know why they do that though? So they can uh, mop it easier, right? Yeah. Yeah, but then the, the, do they know that curved tile exists? It's not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to I've been to enough steakhouses. I've seen what a bathroom's supposed to look like. <sighs> I, yeah. I'll tell you what, your steak guy. I went when I was in Vegas. I went to uh, Chef Ramsay's Steakhouse. Oh man, I got that beef Wellington, and and you're not a steak guy. I'm not a steak guy, and I hate having non medium well meat. And it was medium rare, and it was probably the best thing I ever had. You don't want to overcook a steak. Everybody wants to cook it until it's not pink in the middle. Nope. You just got to cook to temperature. That's right. That's all. Hundred sixty degrees or over, and you're good to go. It could be. It could still have ice in there as long as it's over one hundred and sixty degrees. Right. I don't know how that's possible, but whatever. We we got you. But it it was yeah. so good. It. Was, I'm glad you oh. liked it, man. I tell you all the time. I'm a beef guy. It was a three hundred dollar mm. meal. That's it. Was it? Insane. Okay. Cool. Well, so I don't spend a lot of money. Weird on flex. Food. That's hey weird, man, weird celebrations flex. were in order. Yeah, for what? you had a two hundred and fiftieth episode of a podcast coming up. Heck yeah, and I got fired. So. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> you're unemployed. <laughs> Hooray! Oh no, lucky. <laughs> on to better, on to greener pastures. Heck well, yeah. um, you know, 
that's kind of most of the show. Um, do you have any closing questions or we won't make you play sevens because yeah, we, we, we had you play sevens. sevens last time and it was a disaster because Josh yeah. is not good at giving clues. Sure. <laughs> sure. Are we doing this? What did you have any <laughs> like last minute questions for him? When you put on your shoes, that's a good question. And you're barefoot. Say you start off barefoot. Say you, you showered, you got dressed for the day. Um you gotta put your shoes and socks on. Socks first. Okay, but in what order? You put both. Like which foot? No. Oh, like, oh, no, I see what you're saying. No, I, both socks on, then you. both shoes on. That's what most people do. I do, do. socks, shoe, socks, shoe. Well, I mean, we all <laughs> wondered about you. That just It makes sense if you don't want the body of your feet to get inside the sock, dirt-wise. Most people have clean houses, or you don't, so I get I, it. I got a clean house, baby. I've been mopping it you every got, week. You got a nice upstairs situation now. I folded, You're looking I good. washed, and folded clothes today. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> the, you got a real nice upstairs, bud. <laughs> the living room is looking pretty dope. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm proud of you. Yeah. P- the pop room has a little... It's getting there. We, uh, we, I think we've asked you all our weird questions. We have. Yeah, we have. I think the only thing that we've added is the sock shoe, sock, sock shoe thing. And that's when we yeah. found out that my mom uh, drinks her coffee in the toilet because we asked her at a Halloween party, hey, do you do sock, sock, shoe, shoe, or do you do sock, shoe, sock, shoe? And she's like, I do sock, shoe, sock, shoe. And Mike's like, yeah, you do. Even your mom agrees with me. And she's like, yeah, I do it while I'm on the toilet. And me and Mike are like, what? Wait a minute. I don't think you get that point, Mike. She's like, well, I put my underwear, then pants, then sock, then shoe. I was like, Mom, you are a sociopath. What is wrong with you? She's like, she's like, well, that way I can walk out for the day of, of uh, uh, for, for so work. She brings her shoes to but the bathroom. That's what I was going to say. She, We're like, well, why are the shoes there? Do you, do you come home and take your shoes to the bathroom? Because even that would be kind of okay because she always pees when she gets home. Mm-hmm. Um, she's like, no, no, no. When I go out and start the coffee pot, I grab my shoes and I take them back with me to the toilet. Mom, are you serious right now? You're in charge of thousands of lives. Yeah, so we found out that my mom is literally um, an idiot. Well, I've learned a few things today. One, I didn't know there were priority passes for bathrooms. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, two, <laughs> only cost your $400 mom a year. needs a, like an alarm or something. So when she gets to about 70% of a conversation, she needs to stop. Yeah, she, she had that fine win. until that mark. And yeah. then mm-hmm. it just blows it. Yeah, at, yeah. At the end. COVID and the shoes. She, right. had yeah. the, she had the argument won. Yeah. yeah, she can't. No. She can't finish. She's not a closer. <laughs> you got to help her out there. Well, well I got to say to you guys before we wrap it up, uh, congratulations! Two hundred and fifty episodes of a podcast is impressive, and I, I Thank think you. we made it to two thirty something on Nerd Foo. So you've surpassed us there, and I and I thought that was a lot. You guys are on your way to three, four, five hundred here. I it seems like you're you're really uh really still the old Mary couple that I love. Yeah, thank you. Thank I hope you. you keep that the shtick up is great. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> done at three hundred. I think we uh we decided right. We love you too, Sully. We closing up at three hundred. We're done at three hundred because that's all the episodes iTunes can have. Are you serious? What they start uh taking the older episodes off your feed. So Funko's yeah. got to pick us up in 50 episodes. <laughs> you could archive them somewhere else. but They're uh, still yeah. there, but they're not. So, it's a weird so, situation. So what have you guys learned over 250 episodes that you would pass on to other podcasters? Because I get asked that question a lot. Like, <sighs> what is your, your best recommendation? So to be honest, you know, I don't really do much of any of it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I kind of show up and help Mike do the show. For as Obviously, far as like yeah. tent and you know try to keep it <laughs> you light that and breezy, tent, baby. Um, but I think consistency is huge. Yeah, yep. um, I think I think the the weekly um, and even if something does come up, which we've had life things happen, you know, letting the people know, posting on social media. I think something that we wish we would have done is a little bit more of the content. Probably some video, YouTube, yeah. Twitch. But YouTube's hard. Yeah, YouTube's not really easy. hard. I, I agree. Uh, but you know, the consistency really seemed to help once we got in a rhythm, it was every week, same time. Yeah. Um, you know, that was real big and you got to let people know, like, like you got, you got, you do movie retakes. Yeah. Uh, that's not every week, but people it's consistent, right? Was. Yeah. We, we kind of fell off during you know the whole COVID I mean. Christmas it's, thing, but yeah. yeah, you're as consistent as you can be for what the climate is. Correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. Consistency is key. I mean, yeah. if anybody's going to go do a podcast, I totally agree. And I think, I think weekly is the, the way to go if you can. Right. 
Uh, it's too much for us. There's too much there, in life. There's a lot of prep on your guys' end. We download pictures and that's it. Mm-hmm. You Beautiful. know, we we download the the glams is what we get whatever we can find and then we talk about them you not know, we you i do yeah uh you do all the work yeah thank you well, at least he, he owns up to it do I, I i've said it multiple times you do everything yeah i literally just try to make it listenable you need me for that you need <laughs> that was me a weird that. dig i don't know about that <laughs> yeah that's aggressive um, <laughs> backhanded but it, and and you know it too you gotta like what you do if you don't if you're not like we don't like hot toys, I don't think we could do a hot toys podcast. And I like you, bud. And I like don't you. Don't touch me. Uh, Get out of here. Bite him, Augie. <laughs> uh, the dog attacked me <laughs> for trying to touch him. You got you to gotta talk about what you like because then it's not, you know, that's half the battle. Yeah, I agree. I, I think there's a lot to be said in, in what we've tried to do. You know, every Funko podcast or pop figure podcast kind of has its own stick, you know, mm-hmm. the ones that we know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think the, the way we try to talk about what we've done, um, our, our kind of like outlook on it and collecting mm-hmm. and being as honest as possible, mm-hmm. you know, might, you know, might be the reason why we're not sponsored by anyone, but I think, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's legit. Listen, you know, Josh for, AA toys. So, so I think, <laughs> I think it really helps, you know, the people that are listening for authenticity, mm-hmm. it really helps them look for what they want to look for, steer clear of some of the things we'd recommend to steer clear of and a lot of things like that. So it's really to your point, what we've enjoyed and what we've you know, real world experiences to, to help you out. And there, there was a place for all of us, you know, pop collectors lines, us and the, the fun cast, we all melded to get, you know, kind of, we, we weren't competitors. No, of. I love that. I yeah. love that. I, did, I didn't look to see who else was out there until we launched. And then I was like, I should see what other people are doing. That's when I found you guys. Mm-hmm. And that was a lot of fun. And I, and I wasn't about to go, oh, well, there's no, it's us and no one else. I don't understand that mentality. Right. I've always liked, like, that's why Nerd Unite exists now. And we exactly. have 30, but we found out today we have 30 plus streamers. Oh, geez. All of us. That's sweet. Doing that's awesome. podcasts and supporting one another and sharing an audience. And you know what? There's room for thousands more. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're only stronger if we help each other out. Agreed. 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 So, Sully, um, where can people check you out? Well, uh, social media, I'm most often on Twitter, but uh, on Twitter and Instagram, I am CS Sully and then on Twitch where I stream five days a week. Again, I'm a not so variety streamer. So you're, you can pretty much guarantee you're going to tune into fall guys or rocket league uh, at any given time. I'm on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash CS Sully. If you do happen to go over to TikTok, I'm Chris Sully over there. Cause some fool snatched up CS Sully. I don't know who that is. I need, to, I need to have a word with him. <laughs> I'm CS Sully one. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it's you guys. I'm going to have a real issue. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and I hope I hope I'll see anyone at con soon. That would Heck be the yeah. nice place to catch me. Heck yeah! I'll be honest. I think it'll be in like six months to a year before I see you. But let's hope for the best, right? Oof. Amen. Uh, Chris, does your middle name start with an S? It does. Ooh, can we guess it? Samsonite. <laughs> I was there the whole time. <laughs> I give you one guess each, and if you're right, I'll let you know. <sighs> This is it can't be Sully. No, that's a stupid guess. <laughs> that's not my Chris guess. Sully, I'm, just, Sully. I'm just talking out loud. <laughs> your parents no, that wasn't your Chris official guess. Sully, I, Sully. <laughs> I need to meet him. That's awesome. Um, um you guess first. Sylvester. No. Not even a good guess. Not e- what? It, it's it, I mean it starts with S, but Steven. Nope. That was dumb. Were we close though? Sylvester was closest. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know how you yeah, so like the amount close. of letters. Like no, who, who was the closest uh, no, amount it was, of letters? It was less. It was less. But that's all I'm giving you. I don't, there's already yeah. dossiers on me out there. You're People right. are trying to figure out my passwords. That's all they're getting. Hey, oh my god! What was your mom's maiden name? <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> and um, my bank account yeah, number. What was, your, and... what was your high school mascot? <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> I actually gave that away the, the other day. No lie to you. I, so how many high schools are there in the U.S.? Thousands, right? At least Probably. two. At least two. At least two. That's true. Uh, some kid came into my stream and I was saying, hey, I'm from Texas. I'm originally from Texas. Like, no way I'm from Texas. Anyway, long story short, narrowed down. He went to the same high school I went to. Wow. Yeah. Not in the same years. 
uh, clearly, because no one my age is on Twitch except me. <laughs> <laughs> and the I'm weird it. people the looking for there. those women on calisthenics. Yeah, don't let me forget that. Yeah, don't let me forget that. Um, yeah, I will. I, I saw your text. I'm not sending you links. <laughs> uh, Sully, we can't thank you enough, as always. Um, you know, we really appreciate it. We miss you like crazy. Um, we're hoping some kind of con that we'll get to see you at. That'd be cool. And uh, we really appreciate the time. Yeah, we appreciate you being here. Make on. sure you guys check out Sully on all his different social medias. Uh, but before you do that, check us out. If you haven't checked us out while you're listening to this, I don't know how that'd be possible. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that would be. But tell your friends. Yeah. Um, check out Talking Pops on all the social media. And uh, we'll see everyone on the next episode. Yeah. Have a good one. Okay, thanks, everyone. Nerds you know. Thanks for listening to Talking Pops, hosted by Mike and Josh. With co-executive producers Daniel Reichart, John Hildebrand, Matt and Jesse Edwards, Patrick Kwasik, and assistant to the co-executive producers Eddie Edwards. Thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs>